So we're going to give a quick demonstration on how to give a subcutaneous injection to a dog. Um, these are commonly used for things like uh, cytopoint injections um, as well as insulin and things like that. So first we're going to draw up our, medic uh, draw up our medication and we want to make sure we have the syringe, syringe full and all the air out of it. If you have air, you just push it back like this. You give the actual injection itself. If you want to come a little closer, Darian, and so you can see my hands. Um, we're going to try to tint the skin up and you just, they've got lots of extra skin on their back. Um, the only thing you don't want to do is give the same injection every time if you're doing them frequently. If you do it once a month, it doesn't really matter, but if you're doing it daily, I tell folks to go to, to consider four quarters of the dog. So here, 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 and here, and you can do this on the back. And we're just going to tint up a big piece of skin. So there's a tint here, and then I'm going to go in a long way with the tint. Not this way, because if we go this way, that needle is likely to go straight through and come out and squirt the stuff on the other side. So we want to go in like this. These are relatively small needles. They generally don't react much. You see, it doesn't really seem to mind too much. We're just going to aspirate back to make sure he doesn't get any blood, and then we're going to just inject that straight on in there. Pull out, and we're all done. Good job, Pimby.